Okay, so in the previous video, I uh, yeah showed you a little bit the different uh, evolution stages of the Brembo racing calipers, and I actually want to tell you something about the pets right now, but I decided we have to change the order because um, regarding the pets yeah for what are the pets going to be used for and therefore let's see this is number one yes so what you see over here is a um, very rare brake tech uh, i think it's a, it was called brake tech carbon matrix i'm not sure if there was ceramic inside but nevertheless so you see it's uh it's not a steel disc anymore i just like the technical aspects about the motorcycles and all all these type of things so that's the reason why i try to get my hands on those discs and unfortunately meanwhile it's very difficult to to find them anywhere but nevertheless now that i have them let's see what's the weight so here the rotor together with the carrier are 681 grams yes 600 81 grams per disc this is the disc number one now let's put that one aside now another disc is here that one is a psychom disc but don't ask me which model it is because i don't know I I got those discs from a person here in Europe that didn't really know what he was selling and I just asked him to send me the measurements of the of the diameter of that inside hole over here and also the diameter of the of the mounting holes and the diameter of the disc this one is a 305 305 millimeters and what I found out afterwards is that it luckily fits perfectly fine with my new race build that I anyway wanted to use a smaller disc on it. Well, yes, not a large disc, a small disc. Um, yeah, not exactly sure why, but that's what I do. And so, yeah, it's a Ducati size mounting mounting hole fitting for uh, the um, ducati 999 the 1098 and all of these models so it means it has an offset of uh what is it i think it's 15 millimeters depending on how you measure it but it has the same offset like the all other aftermarket discs that are fitting for the ducati 999 and the 1098 yes now after two years of waiting i also received today my custom discs that i ordered from hps bikes from the uk well it really took two years for them to to deliver them finally to me but it is still absolutely worth the wait And they are looking like this so this time we have an original original size um, rotor with 320 millimeters 320 millimeters diameter five holes and fitting for the Ducati 999 as well uh, previously that disc that I showed you this one you see the color it is also a nice gray color 
which fits quite well to the GP4RR, I have to say. But unfortunately, Sycom doesn't offer anymore to get the carriers in this type of color. So right now, the recent production 2022, uh, no, 2023, we have black, black carriers. It's not bad at all, but it would have been nice to still have another another color options maybe to it because um, I don't even want to think about how much those discs here were costing. Yeah, even the caliper, <clears throat> even the calipers already, people can buy a whole bike from it, and if you will now add together those discs, I think you can buy almost two or three bikes from it. But some people say you only live once. I don't believe in it. But at least in this lifetime right now, if you have the chance, it certainly is something very, very special. And yeah, something maybe worth mentioning is also that if you look here on the side, you see the, the thickness of the disc. I think this must be at least six millimeters. I'm probably going to measure it later. But the brake tech discs in comparison are definitely a little bit more uh, a thinner. And also at the same time, if you look at the at the different surface patterns, that's why I mentioned before that I'm not sure if in the brake tech disc, if there's any type of ceramic matrix um, inside. But certainly here from Sycom, it actually is very interesting how they are producing those discs. There is a small clip somewhere on the internet where you can see how those discs are being produced. And this is the reason why it takes so long and why those discs are also so expensive. Because good things just take time. And therefore a two years wait to get those discs was unavoidable. But who knows, maybe you're lucky and they have produced some of them in stock for you. But nevertheless, I think this is a one one time investment in this lifetime at least because now I'm simply poor and yeah don't know don't know how to pay the rent but at least I have the discs that's good yeah and um, now one more which is here now what's the difference the difference is they have holes and those ones they don't have holes because when i ordered them mm, i was thinking i like actually that look you know from the former uh, racing bikes if you look at the carbon disc sometimes you see that uh, they also do not have any uh, holes for the rain and i'm also not intending to ride my bikes in the rain that's another thing and besides that those discs over here um, they have the t-drive the t-drive system which means they do not have any what's the name i forgot it uh buttons no what's the what's the name i don't know you know here the way how the rotor the is mounted to the carrier over here let's see uh, so and it even has some slight some slight slack and play so in case that the disc is expanding due to the heat but it could have also be another reason so what i do not like about those t-drive discs why i actually then started to order those custom discs is that here on top you can see there is engraved 11.99 Panigale. But I don't have a Panigale and I don't want to write a Panigale. So that's why 
I'm not gonna mount those discs. So why I have them, like I told you before, it's my investment to the future. So in case one day I have nothing to eat, then probably I can just sell them and then I can eat for one, two, three months again. Yes, uh, and they have like 330 millimeters in diameter. Yes. So, ah, and after talking a lot of nonsense for the last few minutes, I forgot to actually measure the weight. So let's start this one. Mm, yes. So this is the 320 millimeter custom made disc without the T-drive from Sycom. And let's see how much it weighs. Okay, I cannot see it because it's covered. So let's do it again. Okay, we are at 817 grams for this disc. 817. Now, this is the 305 millimeter disc. Let's see. That one weighs 825 grams, but only has a 305 millimeter diameter. 825. And now let's see for the T-drive. And the T-drives, oh, they are even pretty, a little bit lighter. They are 790 grams, despite the fact of having a larger diameter disc, 790. So what else is there to say? Um, yeah, probably not too much. One, two, three, four. One, two, yeah, there, there is another one. And there we have the latest one. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, I mean, it's serious about the investment because those four discs, they are, this is like one year of eating for me. Okay, see you soon.